Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to edit your Squarespace website template. As I said in PDF Guide that you received after purchase, you will receive an email from Squarespace. In PDF, you can see the screenshot how that email looks like and some detailed instructions if you need to, but it is pretty simple. You should only accept the transfer by one button, log in your account and you will see the template like this one on your dashboard. Remember to let me know as soon as you accept the invitation, so I can transfer file ownership to you. Because after accepting the invitation, you will be only the administrator and I need to transfer file ownership to you. Today I show you some edits on this template. Let's start. First of all, I recommend you to make a copy of the website inside your account. So, if something goes wrong, you can go back to the original template. Here in dashboard click here and choose duplicate site. Now we can start editing. So, here we are in the Squarespace editor. As you can see, it's what you see, it's what you get. Here is drag and drop editor, so there is no code and another complex things. Like in WordPress, that makes you confused if you are a beginner. So everything is going to look exactly like you see in the demo that you possess with uh, photos and fans. Here you will see the preview of your website and here there are some options to manage your website. Here you can find pages, the list of all pages on your website, design, so you can get access to the website styles, 34 page, your browser icon and so on. Comments is for shop, earnest, marketing, settings and help. I'm gonna show you the basics today of how to change all the text, the pictures, graphics, menus. We are not going to go into totally ripping this apart and like redesign a website or unknown things too complex today. To edit the website, click Edit in the top left corner of your site preview. Let's start from header. The first things you might want to do is to rename your website. Hover over the header and click Edit Site Header. Click Site Title and Logo. In the Site Title Text field, enter a site title. Enter a site title. Let's name it Amelia. Okay. Also here you can upload your logo. Remember, always to click save to save your chances. In this template, header is fixed and when you scroll the page, the header is visible. This is very convenient for site visitors, but you can change this if you open the header settings. Here, in fixed position, choose the option you need or turn it off. Header and footer will be the same, so it's out every page, so you do not have to redesign it at every page. Ok, let's see how to rename our menu. Save all changes that you made and click exit. Choose pages. Here you can rename pages, duplicate them or hide if you do not need them. For example, if you do not want to write posts on your website, click here and turn off. 
this Enable Page option. In the main navigation section, there are pages that are appeared in the menu in header. If you want to create a page that will not be appeared in the menu, you should create it in Not Links section. In this template, there are already such pages, browser palettes and terms and conditions. They are published and available for users, but they do not appear in the menu. So if we want to rename a page, click Settings and let's name it Services. Save. The next thing to understand is each page is broken down into sections. The elements are actually unheard to the section. Like this section is going to contain a photo with text and button. You can reorder your section if you want to. For example, swap the section by services and photo gallery by clicking here move up or move down. To add a new section, click on add section button. Here you can add a standard or a blank section to start from scratch. Another advice is not getting like to crazy editing it, because the whole point of a template is so that you don't have to do too much work. And also, please note that if you move things around in the site, check the mobile version before publishing, because you may need to move things around in the mobile version as well. Therefore, the best reason to avoid a lot of work is to stick to the basic template and not make many changes, especially if you are a beginner. Let's go on. It is easy to change your text. Just double-click on any title or paragraph of text and start typing. Let's change it on this text, for example. Here you can change size, font, add your link, highlights, and so on. If you want to change a photo, click on it, then click Edit and Replace. Upload your media here. Also, here in the Design tab, you can change the shape of the photo. You know the best way to learn elements is to click on them and see what you can do. Now, let's change the background. Click on the Edit section background, then replace the image. I'm going to choose a free photo in here from Unsplash, but you can upload your photo here. After edit, remember to save your changes. You can change the most important thing, perhaps the button, is your link to make it go where you want. Click on button, then edit, and here you have multiple options. You can link into a page, for example, user clicks on book button, and he will be redirected to the contact page with contact form or to web address. Or you can upload a file that user will download when he clicks the button, for example, your price in PDF file or something and so on. Now I'll show you how to edit website colors and fonts. In the right corner, there is a brush, click on it. You will see site styles. Here you can change color and fonts for the whole website. In color there is palette. You can add five your branding colors and square space automatically creates ten color themes. As you can see here, each section uses one of these color themes. First section uses darkest one, second lightest one, and so on. When you edit the color in color palette or uh, in color theme, this color will be changed on the whole website. Let's change some colors to see how it works. Okay, now you can see that some colors in color palettes are also changed. 
Now, let's change the colors to the second section. If I want another color for the button, I need to open side styles, colors, then go to the color theme that it applied to the sections lightest one, uh, darkest one, and then I can click on an element that I want and change the color for this color theme. Again, if we change colors here, they will be changed on the whole website where this color theme is applied. So, if we change the heading color to brown, then in this testament section, the heading else become brown because it uses the same color theme like this one. So you just scroll down the page, replace your text and your button links. Keep in mind, this website template was designed with a pretty standard layer to help people navigate through your site. Make sure your website has a purpose. Your visitors should not just looking at your website with no idea what to do next. There should always be call to action buttons, use them. For example, ask for consultation, subscribe, contact you, read more, and so on. The next thing is contact and subscribe forms. See how it works. It is important to have a freebie if you are a coach, for example, that you visitors can download in order to get the names and emails. Click on Add Sections from Subscribe for Newsletter. So click on the form Edit. You can set title and description for each children or name field if you want to. In the Storage tab, you can choose Squarespace, Storage or Connect MailChimp or Google Drive. When you subscription forms are really ready, you can go to marketing tab and here to your mail campaigns. If you choose to use Squarespace, you can set up your mail campaigns right here. Squarespace offers you your mail templates as well, so you don't need a third party email platform if you don't want to. It's all in one, all integrated, that makes it pretty easy to use. Now let's check contact forms. Click on form you need and then edit. Here you can add some fields or delete them. Then you need to go to storage button and add an email that will receive forms from your clients. Also you can connect services that you want to. And here, in footer, you can add your social links. Just click on Edit and connect your links. Nothing really to do here, only change your social links. Keep in mind, header and footer will be the same throughout every page, so you do not have to redesign it on every page. Also, here, you can see links to privacy palace and terms and conditions. You can edit them if you go to pages, not link pages. And simply edit the text here. Let's move on. Fill all your information on other pages. Here you see a block. Block is connected automatically. Here you can find thoughts that will appear on this page. Click on it, go to the Manage Post. Here you can add and edit your post, add your pictures and text, and then publish them. You won't have to do anything. It's just going to keep stacking them up here. If you create a new post, it's just going to put it there. Watch is about shop. You do not need to do something manually. 
shop as well is similar to the blog, just click on it, then choose manage products and here you can add your own products, photos, text, prices and so on. You do not need to do any design work. All your products will automatically appear here. Also, you can change color at the checkout page. Go to Design Checkout Page. To manage your shop, you can go to Commit and here you can set up your payments, methods, products, discounts, and so on. In the end, after editing all information, go to Marketing and choose the appearance. Here you can find share checklist, set up your title and description of the website and so on. Make sure that you have this set up properly. Well, I hope it helps you to figure out the basics of how to customize this template, just simple things like text editing and uploading photos, changes colors, menus, and so on. The last thing I want to remind is to check after you edit a mobile version. This template was designed to work on mobile and looks good. So after edit, just click here, then you will see mobile design. Make sure that nothing has disappeared, everything is in its place and everything is ok. When you are done, you can connect domain, set up payment method for your shop and so on. All this information you can find in Squarespace Help Sancho or in PDF Guide that you downloaded after purchase. Hope it was helpful for you and that you are excited to get started on a new website. Enjoy!